thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So as you saw by this beauty throwback, this is all pumpkin spice, pumpkin related. Some of it is home stuff, like for home fragrances. All, most of it after that, if not all of it after that, is beauty stuff. So if you'd like to see the best pumpkin spice, pumpkin scented everything, then please keep on watching. Like it says, um, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of stuff. I also have an OnlyFans page where, uh, where you can watch, sorry, it's been a long day already. I have a migraine. Anyway, uh, you can watch tomorrow's video there today for free. Um, you can chat with me, and I'll be starting live streams again shortly. Sean's doing better. Still not out of the woods, but he is doing better. But anyway, if you're interested, this look is going up tomorrow. But anyway, I gathered all my pumpkin spice related things together. These are things that um, I have been using for a really long time. Some of them are newer to me, but I still have an opinion on them. So I'm going to go to start with the home good stuff first. Okay, sorry, I got everything else in the bag, so crinkle, crinkle. Okay, so first I want to talk about two wax melts that I really, really love. These are both from Candlelight um, brand, and one is called Midnight Pumpkin. And you can get these at Kroger, Walmart, places like that. They're really affordable. You get six cubes. And this is like a deepened, kind of musky pumpkin. Oh, it smells so good. I've repurchased this. Uh, this is my second little batch of them. But um, you don't just need to use this for Halloween, even though it's got a cute little Halloween picture on it. Perfect for fall. Um, I will use fall scents all the way through like Christmas almost. Uh, so this is really, really good. It's the Midnight Pumpkin by Candlelight. Super good. They are strongly scented. Um, so if you're not a super, if you're not into that, you probably won't like this brand, but it is super affordable. These were $1.60 and uh, they're as good as Scentsy to me. So and then my other one from Candlelight as well is uh, the Pumpkin Souffle. Um, this is, oh my gosh, you walk into your house with this burning and this just screams pumpkin spice. It has that pumpkin smell with the cinnamon, the nutmeg. It smells like you're baking like a pumpkin dessert. That's how good it is. A little bit of vanilla, super, super good. Oh my gosh, I should have picked up more of them. But the Pumpkin Souffle Honestly, out of the two, I love the Midnight Pumpkin, but there's just something about the Pumpkin Souffle, probably because it's more of a legit, true pumpkin spice scent. So, so good. Absolutely love it. It's really, really good. And then the last home thing, I didn't realize they were all the same brand, but this is the Candlelight Pumpkin Nutmeg Pie Candle. You can get these for like $4, like, and they're huge, 18 ounce. As you can see, I've been burning this. Absolutely love this. I love this scent. It is, once again, that pumpkin spice scent where if it's like a souffle pie, if it's like food related, you know it's going to smell like pumpkin spice just because when you're baking, you do use cinnamon and nutmeg and everything like that. But super long lasting. It does have a really nice scent. The scent does like travel. So I'll have my wax melt warmer. It's in my living room. And then our, our house is pretty open, you know, like the front area. And then, you know, just right there's the kitchen. So I have the wax melt in the living room, the candle going on the stove, and it just envelops that whole entire area in a really nice pumpkin spice fall like scent. It's just lovely. But yeah, the Candlelight brand, super, super good, super affordable. You don't need to spend a lot of money on um, Goose Creek or Bath and Body Works, Yankee. Um, check out your local candle aisle at your grocery store. I think you'd be surprised. Super, super good. Love this brand. Obviously, this isn't sponsored. I bought all this stuff myself, obviously, but super, super good. Highly recommend the Pumpkin Nutmeg Pie Giant Candle. So good. Heavy, really nice glass jar. These are incredible. I have, I, I, I love candlelight, so yeah, definitely recommend it. So I'll link them out their website down below. You can purchase online, and once again, still super affordable if you don't have this brand in your local store, but super, super good. So Okay, that is all for home stuff, you know what I mean? Okay, let's get into body fragrances. So, let me grab the four that I have. Okay, so my first legit, I've repurchased this like three times. I think this is my third bottle. And this is the Bath & Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This stuff is stellar. As you can see, this is my last bottle and I'm trying to be like a little bit more reserved with it. This stuff is just amazing. Um, 
it's just, oh yes, that sweet cinnamon pumpkin, exactly what it is. So you got that pure pumpkin spice kind of scent in a body spray, super long lasting. Every time I wear it, I get a whole bunch of compliments. Definitely wait till it goes on sale because this is $14. I think they've actually raised their price to like $16.50 now. And they always come out with this every year. I know this year it's a different, uh, it's like a different package, but super, super nice. Love this stuff. Um, this is last year's and I still love the little glittery leaves, but it is so, so good. Absolutely recommend this. If you are at Bath and Body Works and you're looking for a fall scent, try the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It is so good. Long lasting, like I said, I always get compliments. It's just that good. Another one that is new to me this year, it was out last year, but you saw this. It's the Body Cology Spiced Pumpkin Fragrance. This is a really close contender to the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I really, really love it. Um, slightly different, but just, a, just as good of a scent as the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is way more affordable. It's less than $4. And you do get eight fluid ounces, and this one is eight fluid ounces as well. This one, I love this scent too. Um, I Next time I go to Walmart, I am going to pick up another one. Yeah, it's so, so good. You can smell a lot of pumpkin, but then there's that under effect of the spices. It's just so good. Love this. And I am not going to be shopping at Bath & Body Works, uh, even when they have their semi-annual sale in December. In the December, I'm not going to buy anything because I've got a butt ton. Uh, but... Bodycology is hitting it out of the park. Um, I just tried their spiced apple fragrance. I just restocked. You probably saw that in Sunday's video. Got two other little bottles of the spiced um, apple one. Bodycology has a really, really good sense that definitely rival Bath and Body Works. They're that good. So yeah, if you're looking for a really nice um, fall scent, if you like the pumpkin spice kind of scent and you don't have the money to buy the sweet scent of the pumpkin from Bath and Body Works, Definitely go to your Walmart, check out the Body Ecology Spice Pumpkin Fragrance Mist. So, so good. Absolutely love it. Yes. Okay, another one that's really good is the Ulta Beauty Fragrance. Uh, it's Pumpkin Spice. This stuff I tried last year or the year before. I love this stuff. It is slightly different than the other two. This one's a little bit more earthy. This one smells more like a baked good. It's got some vanilla and definitely can smell that pumpkin and the spice, but it's a little bit leveled down. There's more of a vanilla kind of baked cookie kind of smell to this. Still love it, still wear it. It's gorgeous. And once again, super affordable. You can get these for on sale for three to $6 on Ulta's website, uh, but so, so good. The packaging is adorable. I did a full review of this when I tried it and I still love it. It's just such a good scent. Um, Super affordable. This one you only get six fluid ounces, so two ounces less than the Bath & Body Works or the Body Ecology, but still really good. I still really love it. Still recommend it. And they're just, yeah, these are just amazing scents, so definitely recommend this one as well. It's just slightly different, more of a baked cookie kind of scent, some vanilla in there, so, but still really, really good. I still love it, and I still wear it, so love it. Okay, this is still kind of a scent. It's more body care, but it's the Hemp's Pure Herbal Extracts, Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai Herbal Body Butter. Oh my gosh, they came out with this again. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's expensive on Ulta's website. It is pricey, but this is just an amazing, thick, emollient body butter with some real fragrance. I mean, you can see it's not slipping and sliding down my hand. This is a legit body butter. Oh, but it smells so good. I love layering this body lotion with any of those three body sprays. It leaves your skin feeling very moisturized, even though there is a lot of scent to it. I can use this on freshly shaved legs. I have no issue. Mmm, very cinnamon, nutmeg, clove heavy. You can still smell some of that pumpkin in it, but it's more of like a cinnamon with a little bit of pumpkin, if you know what I mean, but it's still beautiful, still lovely. Super nice product, so if you do have super dry skin during the winter or fall, but you like your body lotions or body butters to have some real scent behind them, you would love the pumpkin spice and vanilla chai body butter. They do have an apple cider one. I was tempted, I did not buy it, but it's, yeah, this is a really good brand. Love this stuff and uh, I'm so glad I still have some because I'm gonna be layering up and smelling like pumpkin spice goodness all fall. So love this stuff, it's great. 
Okay, so let's go in and start getting into makeup and stuff like that. Okay, so I've got two lip balms. These are, just, okay, sorry, one just bounced into the hamper. Just a second. Okay, so these are legit lip balms. I have some um, other ones here shortly, but first one is the Burt's Bees Pumpkin Spice Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is a really nice lip balm. It has a little bit of a pumpkin spice scent. It's very light. So if you want just a hint of pumpkin spice, then I would recommend the Burt's Bees Pumpkin Spice Lip Balm. Still really nice. You still get that little bit of a fall vibe, but it's not overwhelming on the mouth. So I like this stuff if you just want a whisper, just a kiss of pumpkin spice. This stuff is awesome. Very moisturizing, especially when our lips are getting so chapped because of the cold weather, but I do love it. This EOS Pumpkin Spice Lip Balm, it's even stepped out even more than the Burt's Bees. This one has hardly any scent to it. Very, very, very light. It's, it's almost like it was an afterthought. It's still there. So if you are not crazy about scent in your lip balms, I think you'd still like this because it is so discreet. But it's there. Um, I do prefer the Burt's Bees one over the EOS, just personally, but it is really, really nice. Um, and once again, if you have sensitive skin, if you are sensitive to scents, um, but you still want to, you know, indulge in the pumpkin spice season, then I would definitely recommend the EOS Pumpkin Spice Balm. It's really, really good. It's just a barely there scent, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Okay. So, these next two lip balms have some major color behind them. So, I have the Milani Fruit Fetish Pumpkin Spice Lip Balm. This came out last year. I think that it's out here again this year, but this is a nice slant tip, slant tip applicator, and it is a nice, has some nice color behind it. Sorry, I still have stains in my hands when I did lip swatches, but it's just got a really nice kind of neutral, nude kind of color to it. It's really, really nice, very moisturizing on the lips. I love to just wear this by itself. It's really pretty with a lip liner as well or over any lip color, but if you want something that you can just throw on for a little bit of color, it's lovely and it does have a little bit of a pumpkin spice scent, but once again, it's the Milani Fruit Fetish Pumpkin Spice Lip Balm. It's beautiful. Love this stuff. I love the applicator because I can not even watch. I keep this in my purse, so a lot of times when I'm going out, I'm not wearing makeup, so this is just nice to be able to throw on and have a little bit of color to my lips, so I love it. Another one that is really good, has even more color. This is the e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm in PSL. Um, so stands for Pumpkin Spice Latte. This one does not have a slant tip applicator. You kind of have to squeeze it out out of a little hole, but it's still a really nice, thick emollient balm. It is um, a little bit darker, a little bit more warmer than the Milani but it's still so lovely on the lips. It doesn't really have a scent to me. No, it doesn't really have a scent, but you can kind of see the difference between the two shades. They're both pigmented. They both will leave a very beautiful look to the mouth. Um, they're just different tones. While the Milani one's a little bit more neutral, the uh, Elf Ride or Die Lip Balm and PSL is a little bit more warm tone. But once again, beautiful look on the lips and once again you're kind of indulging in that pumpkin spice um, mood that feeling so yeah okay so um got one last lip no two lip products and then and then we have three more things then we're done so the bath and body works pumpkin cupcake lip gloss this is clear but this stuff smells amazing it's just a really nice clear ball like lip gloss it has a little bit of glitter in it but it smells so good. Once again, it does have um, a lot of vanilla in it where it's like a cupcake scent, but this is so pretty on the lips. It is just smooth, shiny, reflective. It's not sticky, but you got that pumpkin vanilla. It's just so good. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful on the lips. Once again, you can wear it alone or put it on top of anything and it just amps up your look with that little bit of glitter. It's so pretty and it's really, really nice. Um, I love this stuff. Um, once again, I do keep this in my purse as well, because uh, once again, lips are dry, and even though it's a gloss, it is thick, and it really stays put, and it just makes my lips feel good, so I love this stuff. Once again, this is the Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Cupcake 
lip gloss. It is so, so nice. Definitely recommend it. And then you saw me talk about this um, yesterday, but I do, do want to talk about it again. It's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Globetrotter. It's that um, pumpkin, pumpkin color, lip color. Um, sorry, I just talked about it yesterday, but it is so pretty. It's just gorgeous. Lasts a long time. And once again, if you like that kind of rusty pumpkin shade, you'll love this. It is beautiful on the lips. I love it. It's just, it's one of my favorite fall lip colors where it is so rich and warm. It goes with a whole bunch of different eye looks. If you're just doing mascara and like face makeup, pop this on. It's a statement color. It's just so pretty on the lips. And I feel like I don't hear very many people talk about it, but it is so pretty. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Globetrotter. It's the perfect pumpkin shade for fall. Um, it's that dark, warm, orangey brown. It's just stunning on the lips. Definitely, definitely recommend it if you like those type of lip shades. My leg is falling asleep. Okay, we are almost done. So um, this is newer to me, but this is the Fantasy Makers from Wet n Wild. This is their limited edition blush in, what is it called? Smashed or something like that. I don't think I have the, I don't have the thing anymore. But um, it's a pumpkin spice scented blush and it has a little jack-o'-lantern face in it. This was part of their 2021 release. Um, I did a whole video on these, but it's a really pretty matte orange peachy blush. And it smells so good. It smells like, um, it definitely smells like pumpkin spice. I love this. It is so pretty on the face. It is brightening. Once again, it's that warm orangey peach. So it's going to look beautiful with a lot of different eye looks that you're pulling out this year. But it's so nice. It smells really good. No irritation. Once you get it on the face, you can't smell it. But you stick your nose in the pan. And yeah, pumpkin spice. So beautiful. Absolutely love this. Um, this was one of my favorite pieces from their collection this year. And it is just stunning. Absolutely love it. Super cute. Um, compact's really nice. And it's like less than $4. So super affordable. Absolutely. Definitely recommend it. Of course, we can't talk about pumpkin spice or pumpkin things without the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadow and Pumpkin Pie. This is a really beautiful little quad. Earthy, warm tones. So pretty. Two mattes, two shimmers. Absolutely love this palette. Just so, so pretty. These two right here, sorry. But it's just so pretty on the eyes. They blend beautifully. These are the two mattes. And the shimmers are just as beautiful. The shimmers to me are what kind of steal the show for me because that looks really screams kind of pumpkin to me. It's because they're a little bit more orange, but they look beautiful on the eye. This little quad is $3. So, so pretty, so reflective. The mattes are buttery and smooth. They're just beautiful. Definitely recommend the Pumpkin Pie Elf Bite Size Shadow if you're wanting to try a little bit of, you know, those warm tones, the pumpkin kind of spirit, but you don't have a lot of money, pick up the Elf Bite Size Palette in Pumpkin Pie. Beautiful, affordable, cruelty-free, and they're just, it's, they really do have a gorgeous, gorgeous quality to them. Love them. And then lastly, this is the Wet n Wild My Glamour Squad 10 Pan Palette. I know this is the old packaging, but I love this palette. To me, this screams pumpkin spice. We've got these re two really nice, warm, well, the whole palette's kind of warm, but these two really pretty matte shades here. So pigmented, even this transition up here is really nice and warm. You have a really pretty brown. The shimmers are really beautiful too. Once again, just great, gorgeous quality for a super affordable palette, these three. They're just stunning, stunning palettes. Um, and once again, I just, I think this can pull out a really beautiful kind of pumpkin spice kind of look and uh, without breaking the bank. Those are two of the really nice soft kind of satin shades, but beautiful. It's like $5. You can still find these at your local store. Um, my local store hasn't switched over to the new, sorry, like these new ones. So love these two, but I still love the old ones. I still have the original like trios. I, their eyeshadows are just that good. Um, 
I check to make sure they're not smelling bad or quality has changed, but yeah. Wet n Wild 10 pan palettes are amazing. And once again, this is my Glamour Squad. You can get a really beautiful, warm, toasty kind of pumpkin look. Sorry, I put lotion on my hands, so that's why that one looks kind of patchy, but really, really nice, really nice little tan pan palette. And $2 more than the e.l.f. bite size, but I really, really recommend these pumpkin spice, pumpkin inspired things. They're just so good. Uh, like I said, I will link the candlelight stuff, their website down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments what are some of your favorite pumpkin spice things. I would love to know down below. And just so you know, I do have an eBay page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a Facebook group where we get together and we share looks, memes, pet pictures, all sorts of stuff. It's a really positive, fun place. Uh, so I'll have those two linked up down below as well. And of course, you're more than welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all about your glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up right on the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.